So Bev and I are walking hand in hand down Hanover Street on a crystal clear, just magnificent Saturday afternoon when we are confronted with, by a man. Walks up to us and stands taut right in front of us, short, bald, fat, big, furry, walrus-like mustache. And he looks up at us and in his best broken English says, Manja, manja, you come and eat with us. You don't like it of food, you don't gotta pay. <laughs> I didn't think it was so funny. We didn't know this guy. Bev and I are like, what? Manja, manja, you come eat with us, you don't like it of food, you don't gotta pay. <laughs> well, okay, I mean, I mean, understand what we're talking about here. We're talking the Italian North End. We weren't particularly hungry, but we weren't entirely sure how a refusal of this offer would be greeted. You get my drift. <laughs> so uh, we follow the guy. We go up to the second floor to the restaurant Dolce Vita. That was 1990. We became regulars of this restaurant. Once a week, at least once a week. The owner became a friend, Franco Gracefa. I mean, doesn't he just sound like somebody you want to take home? <laughs> Franco Gracefa and his wife, Caroline. Well, that was 1990. 1996, Beverly and I moved from Boston to Arizona, at where we live today. In 2006, 10 years later, we were going back to Boston to visit our daughters, Kate and Megan. So we walked in and it was beautiful. They had done such a wonderful job. And we're looking around. They got a little bar area. They didn't have any more plastic flowers. I mean, they had real flowers. It was just this wonderful place. And then our hearts sank. There was no Franco. I didn't know where my friend was. We were about ready to leave. When we heard this voice from the back of the room, Ay, 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 Bonacera, you two look alike a movie stars. <laughs> manja, manja, you're going to eat with us. Bella, Bella. Beverly. Always called Beverly Bella. Because he'd call you Bella, he'd call you Bella. <laughs> Every woman's a Bella. <laughs> Franco Gracefa at Dolce Vita was bustling busy. Why do you think that was? Anybody got any guesses? Huh? Anybody? You think it was the food? I'm sorry. Recognize the customer. You know, let me tell you something. Franco Gracefa kisses more men in a day. <laughs> one, one, one. <laughs> He's an amazing guy. Franco Gracefa is an incredibly great leader. That's why. Now, we may not think of, well, he just owns a restaurant. What's the big deal? Franco Gracefa gets that to be a great leader, you have to create unforgettable experiences.